In this video, we're going to take a look at keyboard shortcuts for formatting our data. So Excel has a lot of options for formatting data, and a lot of these can be found in the Home tab. There's a couple sections here, so we can change our fonts and alignments and also format our numbers differently. But if you want to speed things up, you're definitely going to want to learn the keyboard shortcuts for a lot of these popular formatting options. So in this video, we're going to take a look at all the available keyboard shortcuts for formatting our data. So let's get started. So the first keyboard shortcut that we're going to learn is going to be used to open up our Format Cells dialog box. And if you just learn one of these keyboard shortcuts, it should definitely be this one. Because with this one, you're going to be able to access the menu that allows you to do pretty much every type of formatting. So let's say, for example, that I want to take these numbers here, and they're actually dates, but they're just not formatted as dates. And let's say I wanted to format them as dates. I would just select them and press Control-1, and that's going to open up my Format Cells dialog box. And now I have access to a whole lot of different formatting options. So I can format numbers. I can also format alignment, font, borders, and fill. But in this example, we're just going to stick to number formatting, and we're going to format that as a date, and we can press OK. And now we've got our numbers formatted as dates. So that's Control-1 to open up the Format Cells dialog box. Now the next two keyboard shortcuts are related to the Format Cells dialog box shortcut that we just saw. So these also open up the Format Cells dialog box but they open it up on a specific tab. So if we press Control, Shift, and F, then we get our Format Cells dialog box. If I just press Escape to close that, the other keyboard shortcut is Control, Shift, and P, and that also opens it up on the Font tab as well. So those are two other ways to get to the Format Cells dialog box, and if you're using the uh, font formatting quite a lot, it can be quite handy. Now these next keyboard shortcuts are for very common formatting tasks and all of them actually have two different options for a keyboard shortcut. So let's take a look at them. To format something with bold formatting, we can just select them and if we press Control B, that's going to add bold formatting. The next keyboard shortcut is for underlining text or numbers. So if we select some items and press Control U, that's going to add underlining. And the next one is for adding italic formatting. So if we select some items and press Control i that's going to add italic formatting to our data. Now let's just go back and undo those formatting adjustments. And all three of those actually have a, a secondary shortcut that we can use. So Control 2 will actually add bold formatting also. And Control 3 will add italic formatting. And Control 4 will add underlined formatting. So three very common formatting tasks, and we've got two keyboard shortcuts for each of them. This next keyboard shortcut is going to allow us to add strike through formatting to our data. So if we select some cells and press Control 5, then that's going to add the strike through formatting. And this can be pretty handy for to-do lists, pretty easy way to cross things off in Excel. So that was Control 5 to add strike through formatting. These next five keyboard shortcuts are great for common number, date, and time formatting. The first one we'll look at is great for formatting large numbers. So if we select a range of numbers and press Control, Shift, and 1, then that's going to add a comma as a thousand separator and two decimal places into our numbers. Our next keyboard shortcut is for formatting time values. So times in Excel are just values between 0 and 1, and without any formatting, they won't look like time values. So to format a value as a time, we can use the keyboard shortcut Control, Shift, and 2, and that's going to add some time formatting to our values. Our next keyboard shortcut will help us quickly format dates. So if we select our date values that have no formatting and press Control, Shift, and 3, then that's going to apply a date formatting to those. The next keyboard shortcut will format values as a currency. So if we select our values and press Control, Shift, and 4, then that's going to add a currency format to our numbers. And the last of these keyboard shortcuts 
is for percentages. So if we select a range of values and press Control, Shift, and 5, then that's going to apply the percent formatting to a set of numbers. So definitely some very common formatting that you're going to be using very often. So worth knowing those five. The next two keyboard shortcuts are going to help with adding or removing borders in your cells. So I've applied some borders here to this set of data. And if I select it and use the keyboard shortcut Control, Shift, and Underscore, that's going to remove all the borders. And the next keyboard shortcut we can use to add borders. So if we use Control, Shift, and 7, that's going to add a border to the outside of our selected range. And the last keyboard shortcut we're going to use allows us to apply a general number formatting to any set of numbers. So if we select our numbers here and use Control, Shift, and Tilde, that's going to basically remove any formatting and just apply a generic general formatting. And the last thing I'll mention here is if you've painted yourself into a big formatting mess, you can always select the range of data you've done that to and go up into your Home tab and go to Clear and Clear Formats. And that's going to remove all formatting from your data. So that's a ton of time-saving keyboard shortcuts for formatting your data. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next one.